diamonds are of most value, they say, that have passed through most jewellers' hands. Whores, by that rule, are precious. <laughs> Will you hear me? I'll never marry. So most widows say. But commonly that motion lasts no longer than the turning of an hourglass. Apricox, madam. Oh, so where are they? I have heard of none to year. Good, her colour rises. Oh, indeed I thank you. They are wondrous fair ones. Will not your grace pair them? Mm. No, they taste of musk, methinks. Indeed they do. I know not, yet I wish your grace had paired them. Why? I forgot to tell you, the knave gardener, only to raise his profits by them the sooner, did ripen them in horse dung. <laughs> For no, an honest statesman to a prince is like a cedar planted by a spring. The spring bathes the tree's roots. The grateful tree rewards it with his shadow. You have not done so. I would sooner swim to the Bermudas on two politicians, rotten bladders, tied together with an intelligence as heartstring that depend on so changeable a prince's favour. I had a very strange dream tonight. What was it? I thought I wore my coronet of state, and on a sudden all the diamonds were changed to pearls. My interpretation is you'll weep shortly. <laughs> Tell my brothers that I perceive death. Now I am well awake. Could I take him? At his prayers, there were hope of pardon. All right, my sword. Oh! Ah! I'll not give you so much leisure as to pray. Oh, I am gone. Well, thou hast ended a long suit in a minute. What art thou? 